everybody. Uh, I'm excited about my guest, Allison Porter, is here. You might recognize her from, well, you wouldn't recognize her from Curly Sue. <laughs> Maybe but from the voice. What an extraordinary voice. And we're going to talk about singing and also, most important, turning life around. And we're going to do that today. I'm glad you're with us. So you suggest that, all, and that's what Christina did with you. And sure. then you're a vocal coach now, yeah. and you suggest that for them. Yeah, if it's if it suits the singer, and you if can feel you can just feel what they what they're capable of. Yeah, I mean, if that's how they're comfortable moving a vocal, and, then yes. And we you're work on able that. to bring this best them out. Yeah, things that we're not seeing. I yeah. you know I coach comedy. And yeah, it's the same thing. Is like you see things in other people when you're coaching that you probably wouldn't see even in yourself. Totally. And sometimes we need that feedback. Do you think it makes you a better... Now it's my podcast. Do you think <laughs> it, it makes you a better comedian yeah, yeah, since no you've been coaching? Because no I feel like no ever since I've been coaching vocally, I feel the strongest I've ever felt. Well, it's one of these things you got to practice what you preach. Right. And yeah. like I'll, I'll catch myself going, well, do you do that? Right. I'll give you an example. The other day, my, my friend uh, Jack, he st- st- you just met him, actually. I did. And he his first time working in this really prestigious place, he dropped f bombs on backstage, going, "What are you doing? Oh, what what what, what are you doing?" And he's like, I was like, it was like had Tourette syndrome. Uh-oh. And I said, "Watch the tape." Uh huh. And by the way, I can say this now in retrospect because he's such a good guy, such a great student. Then he addressed it immediately. He didn't fight me on it. Right. But then I went, "Wait a minute, what about you?" Right. And then I start my show the other night. I did a good 20 minutes without one. Okay. And I made them more judicious. Right. So it is, you know, I try to teach. Well, that's like a, ru- a riff. It's the same yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Like right. If, if a riff is an F-bomb, we have to be tasty about them. Right. Exactly. Because be it works, better. right? When you say it and it works. It has more impact. It's the best. And I always tell them it's a punch line, not a hug line. I love it. You got to look for it. It's like a percussion. You can you can go along with a melody with um you know, in comedy with like somebody playing keyboards, but you have to right. have a yeah. boom boom boom. Right. And that's gonna that's wake wh- them up. <laughs> you wake them up with that percussion in your voice. Yeah. I like to say P's, B's, and K's. Oh, weird. That's my, that's my little. That's cool. Yeah. I used to have a I used to have a joke about uh, when you get gifts for marriage or whatever uh-huh. and you have to act like you like it yeah because they're always female gifts and i would go "Ooh, a bowl you uh-huh. don't know how much i uh-huh. want a <laughs> bowl <laughs> thank you and people would buy me bowls it's not even a comedy joke right not really jo- but the attitude is behind a b word as opposed to "Ooh, a soup tureen not not as funny right a b is funny that's i i impact. i shape certain things like h's or s's or or T's that can be really impactful in singing. Really? And SH can be really... An... Show, show, show me an example. Um, Should you... Yeah, or show me, show right? And like, or like a, or like a cutoff, like, uh, oh, this is so hard to do on the spot. I know it is, I know, yeah. But, but like, also like, um, if, a, if a word is an A or, or another vowel, or, you know, to put an H in front of it, you know, like... Every, every, right? Instead of just every, wow. every, right? Every, this is right. This is fascinating. Same. This is yeah, one of the reasons same. I'm not that great of a singer. I'm from Philadelphia. We have horrible accents. <laughs> we'll go. I'm, ev- from, I'm from Worcester. We'll go every, yeah, every, every, every. Yeah, but Worcester if you to go. Kind of soften that that going into something. Every. Give it a little cry. Yeah. And put an H in there. Yeah. I might go on the mass singer now. I think you should. I have to get a series again though. I gotta get on a series so they go, Oh, it's Craig Shoemaker from Comedy Kitchen. There he is. Okay. You know <laughs> whatever you I think. I don't wanna go on now. Like this, this I don't want to be I embarrassed. Get it. I, I get used it. to be bigger than I am now. And uh, by the way, same <laughs> right, good question. Do you care? Uh I haven't cared for a while. Yeah. But I care a little right now just Do because you? I yeah, because I'm an independent musician and I have three children, you know, so I'm like tired oh. and poor. <laughs> okay, you, you know, like you, I, you I care for that. I reason, would care for financial for, reasons. For, no, for the music purpose. I really d- would like to be known for for my music really? versus anything else that I've done. The Voice or Curly Sue or any of the like. I, well, I the love, Voice is music. Yeah, well, sort of. I love <laughs> the Voice is a reality show, but oh, okay, but that that presents. As a music show. That's true. Yeah. And it's it comes with a lot of 
it's another it's another whole hour. We we watch the show by the way, me and my kids. Yeah, I mean it's an my daughter, amazing. My daughter, by the way, I'll show. play you something. She's got a little cute little she's got a vibrato. Good, a little, a little yeah, ball she got a little vibrato. I'm going to show yeah. you this. Uh, she wrote a song about the pandemic. Oh wow! And it's really it's kind of sad. She was like, and she was like you know, seven at the time or whatever. Uh-huh. But it's kind of sad, but it's also so beautiful. I'll play it for you, but. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's it's it, you can hear it though. You can hear them when somebody has it. Yeah, you know, maybe they've got that. Maybe her and uh, and Naria will meet up and your start daughter? a band. Your daughter, that would be so crazy. Yeah. So back to the fame thing. Yeah. I I don't really care about being famous. Same here. Yeah. I don't care about being famous. But you want to be famous enough where you can make a living. I just want to not what you have do. to pay for my own music making. That's what I really want. Pay for your own music. Making. Yeah, like you know, it'd be nice to have some support. Oh, you mean like a like a record deal? Sure, or a, whoever. You know, I'm very codependent. I want to tell you, you don't know this about me. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm you're a, an alcoholic, I'm so big, it goes. I'm a big, <laughs> they go hand in hand. <laughs> Let's watch it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a big rescuer. Okay, don't rescue me. Okay, it, it's ba- it's bad. Okay, but you know a guy. Is it? <laughs> Exactly. Okay, cool. That's where I was going. Good. I always know a guy. Yeah, my I mean, ex me used too. to say, if you need the wings on a fly trimmed, Craig will get it done That's cheaper. like Randy Jackson. Have yeah. you ever met? Oh, really? You know Randy? Yeah. He's like, he knows everybody. Well, that's the thing is, and then people, you know everybody, and I just, I love helping people. I really do. And I've been burned by it, you know, yeah, or no, sure. not thanked. Sure. Even, which is a little disappointing. Same. I'm, I'm always wondering what the, what the, the psychology is behind that mm. on how on what I'm drawing in where they not only don't thank a lot of times resent mm. big time like turn it around and hate me mm. and I've done lots of stuff for people like right. big time right. I have one I have one that's a comedian I literally like out of the pandemic she had no work she's really great though so I had mm-hmm. no problem getting her work and suddenly she's done with me no reason you're not my friend anymore Wow. I didn't like something you said or something like that. And that's wow. it. Yeah, done. She told a guy the other day, he goes, hey, Craig, Craig's the reason you, I met you. And she goes, we don't speak anymore. Oh, oh wow. Th- yeah. And this is somebody that I literally love and just helped. And How bummer. But yeah, but it, this happens a lot. But mm. the other thing is, but if I believe in someone's talent, which I be- way believe in yours, I mean, you. Woo, you are just <laughs> you knock me out with your talent. And I'm sure you've heard it many times before. So one of the reasons I wanted you here is to hang here at the studio. It's a beautiful studio. It is he a beautiful. Makes, I've been here before, actually. I've been it, here. That's crazy. That's he, a great studio. Oh, he does. Jonathan does great music here. Uh, jams. I put together jams all the time. My I parking know. lot was. We, uh, we got a jam at your production, parking lot. My production studio had uh, Kenny Loggins and Kevin Cronin from Mario Speedwagon. They're all neighbors. You love. But then I also there. think about how you know how we live our life one day at a time and how yeah. it's exactly how it's supposed to be. Right. And there's an element of that too. Like I really have had. The best of being a mother, the best of being right. an artist, the right. best of working and creating, and so uh, a lo- another. You know, we're talking openly, but I also feel like okay, maybe this is just exa- I had like big fame early, yeah. very early right. on, right? And I kind of got it together, and now maybe I just have exactly what I need now. Who well, knows? You, well, you do. Who There's knows? there is that, but we don't know what's. I mean, is there a world that we can create? That is filled with creators that are just good people. Yeah. And get, I don't want to use the word rewarded, but have people buy the stuff. Yeah. And see us without promoting. I hate promoting. It's one of the reasons I, I got like out of touring, comedy. Which is a huge, you know, I mean, obviously you have to tour. Oh, yeah. So that's like, a, I, don't, I don't love a, an airplane. Oh, it's, it's a killer. I just finished a week on the road and I came back. I couldn't, even, I was with my kids last night. I hadn't seen them in a week. I, yeah. I could hardly keep my eyes open. <laughs> Matter of fact, matter of fact, I didn't. Keep yeah, my eyes open. I they watched asleep. you sleep, like the people on Instagram. <laughs> That's exactly right. Oh, I could fall asleep. All right. You know what we should do? We should come back with Michael Orland, and we should do like a little tag team coaching session for you. That would be great. Yeah, he coaches me. He coaches my daughter too. He's the best. Yeah, but I uh, love him so. You know much. what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to move on from him and go to you though. Okay. With my daughter. <laughs> come on. So, well, that fast. Sure, I'll, I'll take I'll his. I'll around, take his client. I'll drive around the corner. <laughs> yeah, we're right around the corner because we have to drive all the way to the valley to go see him on, yeah. on, on Kling. Don't stop going to him on Kling. Everyone knows now Michael Orland. <laughs> on Kling. You want to know where Michael Orland is? He's on he's Kling. He's on Kling with a cute, really cute dog. He's Always. so much fun. He is That's so fun. That's the thing, Allison. And, 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 and again, this is why I created this show. I love energy. Mm. And every guest I've had on here, it's not about the resume anymore. Yeah. It's about, as a matter of fact, Rick, Rick Thorne was in. And I just like, 
<laughs> I met him at. Uh, that's your first cough, by the way. That's pretty. I've bad. been drinking a lot of water. No, I got you, a lingering you did, you did good today cough. with the lingering cough. Thank you. But isn't it really when it boils down to? Because we've seen the other, we've seen the phony, we've seen the yeah. the pomp and the circumstance. It's meaningless. It's meaningless. Maybe that's what it is. You know, you are very like real, and you're like the homie right off the the jump, <laughs> right from the jump. And I think a lot of people are are like tart. Like a lot of people are jaded. They yeah. don't think that that's real. They don't think that that's genuine. And it's hard sometimes to like believe that someone is genuinely like down for you. Yeah, I get. Well, that could be part of it, you know. I, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, listen, it's something to be explored. But I, I don't think I can stop. I really don't. I don't think you should. I don't think I can stop helping people. I don't think you should. When I, when I, especially talent, I just love talent. That's why I put these jams together. You're yeah. going to come to my jam. My I'm mom's ready. coming to town. When's the next jam? I'm, I'm going to tell you. My mom's coming. And actually, the leader of this jam is also one of my favorite all time. I don't know. If you've ever heard of her, I'd die. Okay. She had a band in the 90s. Okay. It was Knock Your Socks Off. i play it for you as soon as we're out of here. Okay. Sun 60. Have you ever heard of Sun 60, Joan Jones? No. Oh, I played it for Michael Orland, by the way. I said, is really? this my imagination? He's sitting there going, oh, a high C. Oh. <laughs> like, or whatever the note was. And he was very impressed. But she is, and cool. she, she's going to be at this jam. I'm going to have a little jam. I don't think Loggins can make it. But uh, my mom's coming to town. Awesome. And um, last time she was in town, she's a really funny person. I bet. And she... She but she knows how to needle me, uh -huh. but she doesn't do it on purpose. <laughs> so we, she says uh, we go down to this. Um, we're going to see uh, Music Man. You okay. ever see that? Yeah, the original. Okay, with uh, you know who's in it? No, you know Opie and Ron Howard. Yeah, yeah, he's of a course. Little, yeah, he's yeah, a little kid with of a list. Of course, the original. Yes, the you original. mean you're like going to see it at the movies? At the movies, they had okay, a, okay, a festival it. downtown right. at the Grauman's Chinese Theater. Okay, and we get there, and I'm very connected, <laughs> but not this time. My mother's going. Wow, we're usually right in the front of the line, but I guess it's not happening anymore. I don't know uh -oh. what happened, but uh -oh. and then she go, "It's okay. I'm here with my grandchildren." Uh -oh. And then we had seats like way up. Wow, we're way up high. I could hardly see, but it's okay. I'm with my grandchildren. <laughs> so then Shirley Jones comes out, oh, right? Shirley, uh, right? And she's so beautiful, and I would cry during the whole movie. I it's mean, a good movie, it's, but it's just so beautiful. It's the way they made things back then. Yeah. I was just. I couldn't help myself. Uh -huh. She's so beautiful. She's like 26 years old. She's my mom's age today. Yeah. You know, what well, was then too. But anyway. Yes. So she's there and she comes on stage. My mother goes, I, uh, she looks beautiful, I think, but it's okay that we're far back. <laughs> I'm with my grandchildren. <laughs> I think. So then, so then we get, we, it all ends. We go down in the parking lot. This is my teaser this day. So we're down there and she's behind me. And she goes, this is, I remember the days you'd introduced me to celebrities. Is this as close as I'm going to get to Shirley Jones? It's okay. <laughs> right? And I get a call from her son. Which one? Ryan. Okay. Cassidy. Uh-huh. And he says, we're upstairs. I said, follow Stop. me, Mom. He goes, in the hotel. He's on, underneath the ground. And, and, she, and she goes, what am I going on? Some wild goose chase? We're at the <clears> car <throat> already. Let me in the car. She goes, I said, just follow me. And we open the door, and there's Shirley Jones. Amazing. And she goes, oh, my gosh. She goes, hi, Shirley. I don't want to be a fangirl, but you're so beautiful. Yeah, she and is they, beautiful. They ended up hanging out together. It was so That's much awesome. fun. But anyway, hopefully Ryan will be at this jam, and uh, hopefully you'll come to this little bit. My mom's coming to town. That's why All I'm right. having this little, have a mom jam. This little party. It says, as close so cool. as I'm going to get to Allison Porter. With an A. <laughs> Why does she spell her name like that? <laughs> that? That would be my mom, by the way. I know. Oh, she, oh, yeah, she's, she's a classic. I love it. Anyway, such I love a, it. such, I hope you had fun today. I did. It was so good to connect and hang, and we could probably do like four more hours. I think we met in a Moody Rooster about. It was we did. probably two years ago. May, uh, like it's, a year? It's, yeah, it's a little over a while. Year well, now, now we can get the daughters together and all that. I want to get you together with my daughter. I want to watch you work. Awesome. And I'm going to uh, absorb it through osmosis okay. on, Perfect. on what you're teaching my daughter. Great. You're awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to make you have a record career now. Okay, great. Just records. You don't have to tour. Okay, fine. Allison Porter, thank you for being <laughs> here. It's still standing up. We see how she's still standing up. We hope you are, too. My wish and my hope for you is that you find your purpose. Mm -hmm. How you can be fulfilled in your life, whatever it is. And you heard from us today, it doesn't have to be through alternative ways that separate you from your true essence and your true self. Be your true Amen. self and uh, and take that with you throughout the world. Anyway, thanks for being here on Still Standing Up. Thank you.